everybody it's Amy at crafty cat and I got some happy mail and I did open it because I had also ordered some things even though Robin so kindly texted me and told me it was coming I just wasn't sure you know if it was her thing or mine so I did like open it peek in there and saw you know that it was from her and it said I got this and realized you need this too for your journals enjoy from Robin so that was so nice and it's got her last name so I covered that up but anyway um, just a really nice little happy mail from her because it is a very neat thing. It is a stitched slots pocket set. And so, you know, you can make these cool pockets. And there's three of them on there. So that was really neat. Thank you so much. That's an awesome um, little thing to play with. So I think what I'm going to do is stop for a minute. I'm going to cut some things out because I didn't want to do it before I showed you guys what it was. And she got this on Amazon as you probably saw. But I'll cut some out and then uh, we'll do like some scrap busting. And then I'll come right back and I'll talk to you about my son's birthday and all that jazz. So I'll be right back. All right, so upon looking at this more, I have glued together two um, book pages and then cut them out using this portion. I didn't realize, I mean, I saw on the back that there was this other piece, but you can cut this piece out separately that goes in here instead of trying to, sorry, there's a random hair just floating around. Instead of trying to like maybe collage on here or something, that would be kind of hard to do. So that's really cool how they have this extra piece. So I think what I'm gonna do is collage some more book pages and then we can just cut out the collaged pieces and put them right onto our book page you know those pieces will just go right on there and then you'll still be able to see some of the text a little bit and when we ink it i think that that will be cool so these are really cool robin that is a very cool find <clears throat> so i'm sorry if there's any bad words on here or whatever i uh i didn't write the book so I don't think this one's bad, but I've thought that before and there's been stuff, so just try not to look at it, I guess. So I'm just going to put two, two, two pages kind of together here, and then we're just going to collage on it. And I think I'll do one more because I think it'll take about uh, three pages since there's three of those pockets per pocket daily there. So, um... That way I know I'll have plenty. <clears throat> so we'll collage these. Oh, I'll still need that. And um, I wanted to use, I have, uh, I'm, I'll probably use scraps too because I said scrap busting, but I remembered I had these from Allie, the Cockney Crafter. It's her uh, new digi. And for some reason the name of it is escaping me. But I will put it um, in the description box below the video. But even if you go to her Etsy shop, which I will also link you'll definitely be able to find which one it is. But they're just all old fabrics, uh, faux fabrics, I believe is what she ended up calling it. And they'll print full page. I just kept messing up when I was printing them. So like this one you can see I got printed right, but then this one has a border. But the, if you don't want the border, you can print them without the border is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> There's that one, and then this cool embroidery one. And some roses. And then this fun fabric. I'm not sure which direction. This is direction. And this pretty lace. Again, that's Ali, the Cockney Crafter. And it's faux fabric. And I there will be a link in my description box below. Because I think she calls it Cockney Craft Shop on Etsy. I always mess that up, Allie. I'm sorry. But it's because I always put the link, so I just forget to horrible with the name things. <clears throat> Alright, so I think we'll use some of those, and then um, I've got a bunch of scraps and stuff, too. So, let's get our page back here, and we might use some of her um, papers past, too, because I've got just a few pieces here that I might go ahead and use up. And I am still working on the journal, and the cover is coming out nicely. I just, it's, it always seems like it's drying or something. So this is from Allie's Papers Past Digital. So I'm going to use some of those, too. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys in a minute what it's looking like. And I'm not going to even um, 
ink these. I don't think I'm just going to glue. <clears throat> we'll worry about inking the pockets once we get them all cut out and done. That way my fingers don't get quite as disgusting. So yeah, I hope you guys had a good last couple days. We had a really nice time for my son's birthday. He had a great time with all his friends and got to go swimming and um, watched a movie outside in our backyard last night. So yeah, we just were getting ready for it and they had a really good time. And I was going to do a video yesterday, but it seemed like I was always having to drive somewhere, so I didn't get that done yesterday. But thank you guys for stopping back by after I was gone for a few days. But yeah, they went to our, I don't know, you know, they were called something different everywhere, like wild waters, roaring springs. Anyway, it's a water park and ours is allowed to open because they have a certain kind of uh, light purification system um, already. They, you know, that's how they keep their water clean to begin with. They invested in that and so they were all set. I guess they are allowed to open if they have that system. So luckily they did because that's the only thing the kids are going to be able to do this summer, <clears throat> I think. So it's nice that it was open and they could go. And I'm glad the weather was good because it's going to get cold again here. I don't know about where you're at, but this is out of my winter wonder digi. I get that question a lot when people see this um, particular doily that I have. So yeah, that's winter wonder. It's in there even if you don't see it when you look through all the images. <clears throat> and I've been having issues with Etsy lately as far as uh, little glitchy weird things that keep happening. Like I keep getting two text uh, notifications every time somebody texts me and two texts, you know, like I get everything twice. And then a lady was telling me that she was not able to order more than one digital at the same time. And I wish I could fix that, but, um, you know, those are Etsy things, and I think they're working on that because we've had other just weird things going on. I don't know if they're putting in, like, a new system. I don't know what the deal is, but just so you guys know, there may be weird, glitchy things if you order stuff from Etsy, and it's probably not just my site. It's probably a lot of people's sites. I don't know why it's been doing that. Let me know if you have an Etsy shop and you've been having trouble, too, with, like, your notifications and getting multiple texts and things like that. I'm just curious because I don't know what the deal is. <clears throat> but it's kind of crazy. So I apologize for that because I can't really, you know, wish I could fix it. I would. But yeah, it's just been doing all kinds of weird lately. At least on my end, I don't know, like I said, about everybody, if everybody's having those problems or not, but it's irritating, I'll tell you that much. I can't decide if I want to go all the way up here, because I feel bad. I don't want people that have trouble getting stuff that they want. I always try to think of things to help. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, my son always says, tell them to make sure that they're logged in as themselves. Because, you know, sometimes if you go from a different device than you normally use or whatever, or, you know, sometimes it just, like, logs you off. So make sure that you're signed in, because I guess that can cause it to do randomly weird things. I don't know why. But that's always something to try for troubleshooting. something it seems.
And these uh, papers are out of that one I got from Hobby Lobby, the Adozo Square, I think. And I'm going to be using lots of scraps, so if I can remember the name, I'll tell you, but I'm not going to make a lot of promises on that, because, as you know, it can be tricky to remember all that. I will try to tell you if I remember the name of it. Yeah, I hope you guys had a nice have had a nice week so far. Next week is going to be similar to this week for me. We're getting ready for my daughter's graduation. I'm so excited for her. Just glad that they're getting to do something. We only get to have four people, you know, four guests per student graduating. So which is kind of funny to me because pretty much everything around here is open with restrictions, you know. So I kind of wish they would just let us have the graduation, like maybe with masks or, you know, whatever the thing is. I mean, we still have to wear masks anyway, but um, it would just be nice to be able to have, like, it doesn't have to be a lot more, but even if we could have six people, that would be great. But at least we get to, she gets to walk across the stage and all that. I feel like she graduated for real. Oh, that was a blue page there. So yeah. It's weird to have things. Um, one of my friends that brought her son to my son's graduate or er, graduation, aye, 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 birthday party, mentioned that it's hard all of a sudden you've got like appointments and stuff again after <laughs> not for a while. And it's just like, oh yeah, I, I do have something to do. It's kind of like that. It's weird to have stuff that you gotta do. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to decide what I wanna use. I can use this rose. I ordered five pizzas and the boys did not eat the way they usually do so I had a whole bunch of pizza left over so I think that's dinner again tonight which is nice to have that all you know ready to go and not have to stress about that I've just been struggling with thinking stuff to make I don't know why I could do that. I've been doing that for a while, actually. I don't know. I just feel like we, as humans, have to eat too many times a day or something. Yeah, so this is going to just kind of be a hodgepodge of all different stuff because once you cut those pockets you're just going to get snippets of things, you know. That's another one from Allie's Papers Past. Thank you so much, Robin, for thinking of me. That was so kind of you, because that's just a really fun little pocket. Super fun. A little thing to play with. I'm just slipping through papers here. Some of these have some glitter on them. Not quite big enough. It could go up here though, somewhere.
my husband last night. Um, the boys were out watching a movie and he, he was out there with them for a little bit and then he came to bed and he locked them out of the house <laughs> on accident. You know, he just came in and locked the door. Uh, it's about 12.30. I hear somebody banging on our back door. It's like, oh, I just want to come in again. It's starting to get cold, so they, they were going to sleep outside, but... He just walked in and locked the door behind him. <laughs> uh, it's so weird how your brain goes on that autopilot and just does whatever. I think I want a piece of this here. This is really pretty lace with the kind of a cool color behind it. Kind of do like a, a funny rip here. Let's see. I don't know if that's going to be right or not. I'm still going to cover it. Sometimes when there's something that I want on there. <laughs> they were good kids yesterday though. They weren't, didn't get too rambunctious. Sometimes you don't know. You get a whole bunch of big teenage boys in, a, in an area and it can be crazy, but they did, they were very good, well they're good age, it's good age, and good kids. Need just a little something. anything right here at the moment so I'll figure it out after we get a little bit further it's more red it's kind of cool with the pink and the black and this is that that is a square however you say it I don't know a little bit more Ready Player One while they're out there. That projector is really cool. The only problem is uh, where I live, it doesn't get dark until like 9:30 at night. So, I mean, not that that's hugely late or anything. It's just that, like I said, I could not stay awake last night. But um, yeah, they you end up out there kind of late watching a movie when it doesn't start until then. But it's really no different than like a drive-in theater or anything, so. And this you might want to do like more of a shrink to fit or borders or something. And then you won't lose quite as much of the edge of the doily as I did. But when you're using them for collage, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. More of the flowers, so. So they tear it straight, like usual. And that can go right there and tear off this side too. I don't need just 
the yellow bit by itself. How did I cut it so short? Oh yeah, yeah. It's okay. I'll, th I'll figure out something to put down there. I'm gonna use a piece from the typing book. I'm just looking through a typing book here. These are the little savior things that you can do. <laughs> this is from Sammy. Thank you, Sammy. Yeah, when I put this one on, it's not as big of a deal because you'll just see parts of that writing and whatever. And a lot of times you don't end up using those little tiny spots anyways because when you're cutting other stuff out, if you're cutting the whole thing into tags, then yeah, you will probably use a lot more of it, but um, when you're using die cuts, a lot of times those edges don't end up on there anyway. Okay. Those are fun, Allie. I like those. Thank you, my friend. gotten squashed it looks like. Okay. Let's do a long piece since we've been doing a lot of everything going that way. I think I will just come right down. Just a little spot, but when we go back afterwards, we can add a little something right there. Well, didn't do much scrap busting, did I? Because I always end up using new stuff <laughs> to make more scraps. Uh, just never ending. I need to just like cut a bunch of it into tags or you know, something like that. for now and figure out how what size piece I want. I don't know that I want it quite that big. Go 
go to sleep and fall asleep with that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I feel like this one signature journal that I'm working on is just taking me an eternity and I'm not sure why. I think I just got kind of um, burnt out because I did one after another there for a while. And sometimes I need a break in between because I start to just get like, I don't know, like I just cannot figure out what to do with the uh, cover and stuff. Like I'm just, I don't know. I'm, it's just, I'm just struggling. So, but it's it's getting there. And then just stuff going on, you know, makes it interesting. But, yeah, I just can get my act together. I mean, I'm having fun decorating it and stuff like that. It's just the cover seems to be a stumbling block for me. I just can't seem to get it together on that. So, I don't know. Who knows? Just look on stuff. Um, Yeah, I don't know why sometimes it just comes to me, like, without having to think a whole lot about it. And other times it just seems like I just can't think of a solution for anything. <laughs> it's really weird. Well, I've been watercoloring a lot and doing stuff, other stuff, so I think I'm just not in the right frame of mind or whatever the case is. It's just kind of weird. that just happens. A block, you know. But yeah, I'm like, that should have only taken me like a week at the most, but... Good thing nobody's waiting on it. This is a scrap piece. Other than Joff's design team, she's waiting, but she's very kind, so she would understand. She has that, has told me she has blocks too, so. See, I don't know if we're ever going to get any normal weather. I mean, it gets hot. Like, you know, you think it's going to just go right into that whole kind of crazy July thing, and then it cools off again. It's just weird. Weird weather we are having. All right, maybe we can put some stamps around in places because it needs something. Like that one just right there. The color was just like a good color. 
and I got these from Art Vark. I'll try to remember the link. I've linked it a few times, but she has good stamps. Good mix when you buy the mixes, you know. Just waving today, he's not talking. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Theron was rubbing Pasha's belly with his foot, and he liked it for a second or so, and then decided he was going to eat Theron. cool because it's got the purple. Yeah, I like that. Gail Agostinelli is the one that turned me on to Art Vark. She got some stamps from her. She just has a good mix. Daisies. I don't want to use that. Ah, uh, that blues. Oh, there's a shabby dabby doodah in there. The blue's not working for me. I don't mind that one there. Some of the other ones. There's the Netherlands. That one would work. Okay, I think I'll put those three and then we'll be done and I'll go cut these so that we can put them on the front of our little pocket dealie. Super fun little thing. So kind of you, my friend. Send that to me. That was awesome. I want it over there or over here. Maybe over here. She kind of looks pretty with the sparkly stuff. Okay. So, I'm going to go cut the little pockets. Let me get my stuff put away here because it's, it's a little overwhelming with all of it here. I'm just going to set it aside and then I'll put them back because that'll probably be a fiddly thing that'll take me a minute. little cutter which is buried now because it was the first thing down. Okay, so we have these and then we're just gonna I'm gonna go die cut you know pieces to put on those pockets and I will be right back. Okay I got this cut I just want to show you guys real quick that uh, the cover is coming along and I figured out I'm gonna put 
this doily on and her on somehow. I don't know exactly how. And then there will be lace covering the spine. And I've covered the pockets. I need to stitch those down. And then I'll be ready to sew the signatures in. <laughs> I don't know why it's taking me so long. I don't know what my problem is. Anyway, um, probably because I keep playing and doing stuff like this instead. That's probably why. But so what we're going to do is I got like 11 of these. I could have cut more because you can see I have like two journaling type cards that I can either cut into more of those or keep as journaling cards because the uh, stamps were a little bit big. So I can just, you know, put these on wherever, however I want. Let's just use one of these ones. We can mix them up. You could do all the similar colored ones together. Like you could take these all have... Let's use these, for example. They have that and that. So we can do something like that. I might go ahead and do that. So let's get this inked. And then... Oops. String. And still string. And then I got ink weird on my pocket. because of the string. And then see, sometimes when you cut these apart, like right here, I need to put a little glue. And that just happens usually because of user error, because I don't have a whole lot of trouble with um, that glue coming up, that glue stick, the Scotch Create. It works really well. So, it's usually me messing it up, so. I think I like that arrangement, so I'll just go with that. Oh, you know what I need to do first? Ink this. These are very cool, Robin. Thank you so much. It's very nice of you. Now I don't need to ink that part because those are going to get folded. So let me just ink in here. And I'll fold it with my bone folder later. And I may end up stitching around the edges. I don't know yet. Just got it. Wanted to play with it. So that's what we're doing. Okay. And of course, that looks sloppy, but it doesn't really make a difference because we're just going to glue this right down on it. You won't see a lot of it. Except maybe... So there's, you know, the little stitch... Uh, what do you call it? The little stitches in there that you can kind of see where to put it. And try to get it sort of evenly lined up with those sides. These would be fun too to glue to an actual book page at the back. That way you'd have it, I mean it's all set to go into a book anyway, but um, you know, it would be like already made up pocket. I think that looks right. It sort of reminds me of Tim Holtz, his stitched pocket, it's just quite a bit bigger. So you can put a little bit bigger tags and things in there, which is nice. Because I don't make a bunch of tiny tags. I'm just trying to sort of <laughs> keep it as even as I am able to do. Um, trying to think, do I want to try to fold it or see that these book pages aren't glued together fully. Sounds much better glued. I have gotten um, 
what do you call that, not Mod Podge, but matte medium on everything I own. I even tried to wash these, but I can still kind of feel it on there. So see. It's quite a bit bigger than the Tim Holtz. Ah, come on. And I love that Tim Holtz one. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it. It just is tiny, so it just depends on what you want to use it for. These are kind of nice because they're a little bit bigger. For our journals, the Tim Holtz one's good for tags, and you know, or not tags, but um, cards and stuff too, because it's tinier. So they're just, just different. Let's see, then you could put them in here, or they, it's going to fit a larger one than just a tag tag. And you could, when you put it down on like a book page or whatever, so if I, I don't think it's going to fit on that one. I would need the whole sheet book page thing. So you could put it on here like this and then you would have that book page behind it or of course you can put it directly onto your um, scrapbook or your journal page. But you can glue the bottom of these and then you could just slip a tag in that will fit in those or you could leave them open so that they go all the way down you know, from like the top all the way down to the bottom kind of thing. So it's just personal preference how you want to do it but those are really cool. So, thank you so much, Robin. That was super kind of you. I think I have, I think you guys got it. I don't think you need me to sit and do more of these, but um, they are very fun. I don't know what one. I guess that one could go there. Yeah, I think that was. That one could go like that. And then this one. I think I've would use one of these. I like this one. This one's gonna go, it's kind of a hodgepodge because it, uh, I like these flowers and stuff. I'll put this one at the top. This one here. I don't know, something like that. So there's two more I have enough for. And then I've got two so I could make one more out of one of those, um, one of these cards. And then have a whole nother pocket. So that worked pretty good. That was three book pages glued together. And of course it's going to depend on the size of your book pages. But, um, and then collaged. And it made, you could make four, maybe even five, five of these with, with that collaged. So that's a pretty good, uh, you know, mass making thing if you wanted to do that. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you again, Robin. Those are fabulous. And I will put a link. I'll find it on Amazon and put a link to these and Artvark and Allie's uh, faux fabric kit and her um, papers past. All right. I think I, I think I remembered everything. Whether it ends up in there or not, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye now.